Welcome to the demo session on quality assurance and business analysis from YesM Systems. So today we are going to uh, look at you know just the, the introduction, introduce ourselves, so then we look at QA BA syllabus, uh, what is QA and what is BA. So some of you want to do QA, some of you want to do BA. So we will discuss the syllabus. It is a 85 hour course, you know, so it's a very extensive and elaborate uh, uh, course. So we got good set of instructors. And uh, one of the most frequently asked question is uh, uh, resume preparation and mock interviews. We do help with the resume preparation, mock interviews and uh, placement help. So we also help students with uh, placements. And up to one year you can repeat the course for free. And you can also, if you are taking QA, you can also do BA course uh, at a reduced fee. Okay. So our uh, testing course is divided into three parts. Okay. One is called manual testing. Other one is called automation testing, and the ne next one is called advanced testing. So we did a recently added topics it's called advanced testing. Okay, so under manual testing, obviously lots of exercises, uh, SQL, and some theory topics. Okay, under automation, uh, you know it's one of the very good uh, uh, QTP classes. Uh, you know probably in uh, among the uh, the training centers. So we offer about 30 hours of QTP. Many people uh, offer 30 hours of QA course. We offer 30 hours of QTP, including VB scripting and descriptive programming. We also cover quality center and load runner. Also, as part of uh, advanced uh, testing, uh, what we do is we are covering, okay, we are covering uh, web services testing, mobile testing, uh, Selenium, service-oriented architecture, and SOAP UI. So these are all some of the uh, topics that are in demand. Okay, so just knowing QTP and manual testing, you know, most times is not enough. So you have to know more. So that is why recently we introduced this topic called advanced testing. So which consists of uh, web services testing, mobile testing, Selenium, another tool like QTP. It's just another tool like QTP, service-oriented architecture. So that's something you have to know. SOAP UI. So that's also something that is uh, very important. So we spend about uh, 16 to 18 hours a year, uh, QTP and uh, load runner and uh, um, quality center, we spend a good amount of uh, time there, maybe about 42 hours a year, okay, so about 18 hours a year and, uh, you know, we spend about uh, 25 hours a year, okay. So roughly about uh, 85 uh, hours. So then we also spend some time on interview questions, Unix and uh, shell scripting, okay, uh, business analysis basics. So that is also covered. So it's more like 20 hours. Probably this is 20 hours and about uh, 5 hours, uh, 5 to 6 hours here. So overall about 85 to 88 hours is how long it takes uh, to complete the program. Okay, so that is a very good summary of uh, QA course. In addition, anybody taking a QA course uh, uh, will also get to do is 2 qb course at a discounted fee. Okay, so that kind of summarizes uh, 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 um, it's a 55. Right now it's more closer to 55 even though this uh, slide doesn't reflect that. BA is a 55 hour course. Just like QA, you know, we have recruiters help and placement help and repeating for one year. All that is available and, uh, you know, integrated course always carries a discount. So this course is currently taught by me and Vijay. We teach about 90 percent of the course. Both of us have about, uh, you know, anywhere between 18 to 25 years uh, experience. So initially, we will be covering, uh, you know, uh, development methodologies like uh, waterfall, agile, rad, spiral, prototyping. Then towards the end of the course, uh, then we will be teaching JAD, RUP, and Scrum. Scrum is very important. Even for QAs, we teach Scrum. Okay. Then in addition to that, we'll be covering functional, non-functional, and user requirements. Later on, we'll be covering uh, use cases and agile stories. Okay. Two, you know, BA process. BA process is also very important. Okay. BA process, the entire BA process will be covered. 
just like QA has got tools, the BA also has got bunch of tools. Requested Pro, Visio, Enterprise Architect, and the Quality Center. All these five tools, total of five tools will be covered. Okay, use cases and UML, very important. Okay, use cases and UML are very, very important. Even that, uh, you know, will be covered along with exercises. Okay, flow charting, all that will be covered. Exercises and project work plays a major role. You know, six to seven uh, functional requirements, hands-on exercises. Even in QA, you have hands-on exercises. Use case diagrams and mock-up uh, screens. That, you know, you will practice that also. For example, Okay, so let me show you uh, some of the exercises done by students this year. See, in January, if you look at it, all the exercises done by different students. Okay, so in Feb. Okay, more recently. So every batch, you know, it is relatively an intense program in this, you know, so lots of exercises are involved. Then uh, Vijay is a PMP guy, he is also teaches Java sometimes, so his project management topics will be covered for about 10 hours. Then HR and uh, BA interview questions. In QA, you will also have HR and QA interview questions. There, it is HR and uh, QA interview questions. Here it is HR and BA interview questions. Even for BS, we cover Okay, basic and advanced SQL. Okay, Sorbane Soxley. Even for BS, we teach a little bit of testing. So these are all the topics covered under BA, and it's, it is relatively an intense program. You know, through exercises, if you do this program end to end, just to follow what we are telling you, it will give you a tremendous amount of confidence. It's also a 55-hour program. Okay, so uh, like uh, like I told you, if you just go through it and uh, follow the instruction, it will give you a lot of confidence to perform as a BA, okay. So just uh, uh, theory alone uh, will not help you, so you have to apply it. So that is a, even manual testing and automation, uh, you do lots of exercises and SQL, so all ha have, uh, um, all of them will have uh, sufficient exercises for you to practice. Even uh, QA, so many of you are interested in QA, in fact let me show you guys uh, one so we are also doing exercises uh, with uh, QA students, you know, so suppose uh, somebody is in Massachusetts, so let me see who wants to do QA. How many of you want to do QA? So about four, uh, okay, uh, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, there are five students, four wants to do uh, QA, right? So now you are in, uh, one is in California, one in Massachusetts, one in Washington, one in Pennsylvania, so how will you do the exercises with me, class exercises, homework is different. So what I do is through Google Docs, we do, excuse me, we do exercises. So if you take the April batch, okay. So if look, if you look at it, uh, so there are uh, there are there are about five or six students, okay. So these are all the exercises done by various students. So they do it, and I can see. So when you are typing, I know. So Preeti while doing this exercise, I know what she is doing. So this is Ching, you know, so Ching uh, uh, exercises, I can very clearly do see what she did and I will be correcting it. So you will be also learning manual testing through, uh, you know, exercises, class exercises. Only thing is I don't get to see you, you don't get to see this old man, okay. Other than that, you know, I can see what you do and uh, so it, it is, uh, I've used, uh, I'm, I've been doing this way for the last one year, it has been, uh, you know, it has benefited students a lot, okay. So in essence, the exercises play an important role and it's a part of the learning process. Okay. So some of the frequently asked questions. I have already addressed about, you know, us helping with the resumes and mock interviews and all that. Homework and exercises is a regular feature of the course. On the job help, you know, suppose you require on the job some help, we will assist you. Okay, it is not if it, as long as it is not like you know we are spoon feeding you and uh, so, you know uh, spending 100 hours with you. That is not uh, humanly possible. Some you know limited and uh, genuine help never refused. Okay, all right. Material obviously you'll get material and class notes. Okay, software especially people who are doing so, you know you need QA and QTP and QC. So we'll help you with QTP and QC. Okay. QA takes about 85, BA takes about 50 plus, 
if you are interested in doing QA plus BA, it's about approximately 120 hours. Okay. Questions? Any questions? I had a question. This is Shreema calling. Yeah, go ahead. Um, actually, for the the BA course, uh -huh. SQL and advanced SQL, is that something that is covered as well? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay, and that will be taught to somebody who doesn't have any knowledge about SQL yeah. or SQL database. Okay. Right, right. And, and domain, is the next screen where you were showing something about domain, is that also covered? Like, do we no, no, that is an extra class. So, uh, we have healthcare up and running. Uh, banking and finance, somebody is ready to teach. You know, we have that also. We haven't really started it, but uh, somebody is ready to teach. The syllabus is ready. So, we haven't kick started it. Okay, but yeah, specialization. You know, for, you know, for example, if you want to specialize in healthcare, the prerequisite is you should have completed a BA or a QA course. It's also QA people can also do. Okay, it's a, to both are each takes about 25 hours to finish. Okay, and uh, yeah, um, you know, people come from variety of background. Some of you have accounting, some of you have different types of background. So we don't in our course we don't try to specialize in particular uh, field. You know, so it is general BA. Okay, but the exercises we do cover banking. You know, so uh, we'll be doing two banking exercise, one airline. Uh, or to retail like that. So we cover uh, through X, you know, indirectly uh, give some domain knowledge through our exercises. Okay, but uh, overall, if you want to de specialize in it, each one is a 25-hour course, so you will be learning about all that. Did I answer your question, Seema? Yes, sir. Yeah. For, so I understand that the domain for specializing in all of these, uh, like I wanted to specialize in healthcare, but for that I have to take an additional course, 25 right, hours right, long. Right. Right. Will there be a separate charge or something? Or yes, correct, correct. Okay. Yeah. That's so all. also I'm explaining that it is not possible for me to integrate into my course because that itself is 25 hours, okay? And somebody like, uh, you know, who, who is a finance person, like if you go back and look at some of the profile, if you look at some of the profile, for example, let's say Lavanya and uh, uh, wants to do the BA course. I'm just throwing an idea, okay? She has all, all her life she has worked on accounting. So if I tell her that we are specializing in healthcare, she wouldn't be interested in uh, the course. Okay, and vice versa. Okay, somebody coming from healthcare, if I say that oh I, I have a uh, I'm specializing in finance, it, it also won't work out. So to a limited that's why to a limited extent what we do is we cover like you know some industries you know some airline. Okay, airline we do banking two application two we do then retail we do two. So some so few things are covered. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, Nandu, I have a question. Who is this person? Th this is Lavanya. Okay, go ahead, Lavanya. Uh, in the automation, there is no exercises. Or otherwise, we have an exercise in automation also. Yeah, same thing. Automation also there is exercise. Okay, and uh, another one is after finishing of this course, you guys will provide any certification. If you need one, yes, we can provide you. you know, some students need certification, so we can help you with that. Okay, okay. And moreover, in the, the profile, you mentioned that placement help from recruiters. Who is that recruiters? The recruiters are yourself, otherwise this is other, other people. No, no, no. These, these are all uh, pro professional uh, recruiters. Okay, okay. Yeah. So just to let everybody know, that was a good question. You know, is it a one-man army? No, you know, so... We are backed up by, you know, quite a few people. I have two uh, training coordinators, uh, one full-time recruiter, one part-time recruiter, okay. So then we have, in turn, we have relationship with other companies also. So, you know, reasonably, you know, so uh, uh, not every student of ours find a job, but, you know, with every student who finds a job, either we place them or we have given some indirect help to them because initially we help them with uh, their resume preparation. And, uh, you know, if they need interview, tomorrow they have an interview, they give us uh, sufficient time, we prepare them. Okay. So, some value-added service uh, we do. Uh, okay. Okay. 